Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my Let's Play of Fallout 3 where I only just remembered to push the tab button again uh, from you know, loading the game up because I said at the end of the last episode it was the end of the recording session and well ladies and gentlemen it's been a while since I've played and I suddenly you know, load back up I'm like yeah I'll get back into this uh, enemy just around the corner <laughs> oh no so I've gone back and watched the end of the last episode we've just teleported to Germantown and we was going to be heading towards, let's go data, I'm trying to remember what it was. I, it, I didn't say in the last episode, which is quite annoying of me. Agatha's house? I think that was it. Yes, so we need to come down to Agatha's house. So we're currently pointing the complete and utter wrong direction. Uh, but that's fine, because we're about to do a little U-turn, so I guess that works out for the best. And, gun. Oh, also, if the, um, if it's looking a little bit different, it's because just done the re- You behind me? Okay. Uh, if you watch any of my other series, you'll know that I had, um, let's call it a few computer problems. And I've had to reinstall. There you are. Alright, excluding a slight glitch where I forgot to reinstall the. Uh, whatchamacallit. Fucking hell, is anyone else there? Forgot to reinstall the. downloadable content. Oh! Oh! Crapping hell! I'm gonna have to do something about my health. Uh, let's see, downloadable content, and first time I tried to load up, it broke the save game, but thankfully I'd made two for some strange reason, right at that exact same location. Oh, also, uh, Alien Epoxy, someone's explained to me, I just use it while I'm holding a weapon, and whatever weapon I'm holding while I use it, it heals up. I quite like that idea. Let's just use one stem pack, and figure out where the hell that's coming from. Ah! Through here? Oh, another freaking sleeping room. Now, I'm sure we cleared out Germantown Police HQ, so why do they still in insist on hanging around here? There's nothing for them anymore, don't they know this? South is this way. There's the old overpass, so if I have a look at my map again... Wrong side of south, southeast is where we want to be heading. But also the video... Graphic settings decided to be different when I installed this time. Yep, when you start the game up, it first automatically detects everything. And I'm not sure, I think it looks a bit better, but I'm not sure if the difference is going to come across. Yeah, when we. Oh no, it's not a uh, overpass, it's, for rail, it's a railroad. Uh, but I'm not sure if the difference will come across in the videos. If it does, I'll be, to be honest, rather annoyed because it's the oh! exact same computer. So it should have realised that these settings were better in the first place. Who else is freaking shooting at me? Ah, oh, just screw it. Run away. I think southwest is the wrong way again, isn't it? It is. Maybe along this road and a little bit, a little bit of jumping. See if it'll help him not hit me. Crying out loud. Uh, but, yeah, I, I'm thinking it looks a little bit better. It might just be that it's resized the monitor. Bring it. Uh, oh, you're a wild death claw, aren't you? So my device won't work with you, unfortunately. Ow! That's... Guys. Oh, him. Oh. Yeah, he's been chasing me for a while now. Phew. You finished him off? Glad that's over. Let's talk to you. River City Security. Damn slavers. Just what we need. Another pissed off gang of wasters gunning for our water. No, We've they taken weren't over slavers. Some water caravans from the Brotherhood. I thought we could handle it, but we'll be lucky to make it back alive. That was a death claw and a. Ha! Oh, you have some nice things. A Deathclaw and a Super Mutant, that had nothing to do with slavery. Oh, for Christ's sake. 
You're also not a slaver. Brahman, I'd like some water. Oh no. Well, you guys continue on. I've, I've got things to do. I must go see about a violin, I believe. But I will be coming back to help with the water, don't worry. Just, um, an old violin is apparently more entertaining. <laughs> and I am going to trust you guys on that because, well, you played this game, I haven't. It's one thing I've liked about this Let's Play and my uh, Mountain Blade one. Whereas for the Paradox Grand Strategy games and uh, Civilization, I, even though some of them are like new, like the Gods and Kings is obviously new to me. Well, no, new to all of us. Uh, Crusader Kings 2, I hadn't really played much of it before. Well, I played one or two battles just to familiarize myself with it. But all this is new. The story is all new to me. Even if it's actually a rather old game. Day trip. Almost there. Could do with going a little bit south. -er. If that's a word. So my guess is the other side of this rock. Ah. I'll go further around and I'll go over that bridge. Evening. Evening. Hey. How do? Caravan guard, caravan guard. Hey there. Uh. Keep it on. I'm just here to protect the merchandise. I'm just here to protect the merchandise. And where's the guy who's go here to sell to me? Has he gone in here? Hello. Oh, we discovered it. No. Empties. Well, let's go in and talk to her. If you don't mind, I'm just going to take a nap first. Oh, apparently you do mind. Why don't you look where you're going? My, my, my. You certainly do look a little bit worn out from your travels. Can I take a sleep, please? Oh, just look at my terrible manners. I'm Agatha. It's so nice to meet you. Now, what brings you all the way out here? Something about a violin. Uh, I was about to ask you the same question. Oh, don't worry about me. I'm just fine out here. My husband, rest his poor soul, saw to it that our house was well protected from the elements and the inhabitants of the wastes. Oh, your husband's dead. I'm, I'm so sorry. Well, that's kind of you to say. Yes, he's gone. After he built this place, we spent many happy years together. We decided to cut off contact with the outside world and just depend on each other for comfort and company. Surely you haven't served, severed all contact. Here's me getting the lines wrong. A frail old lady like yourself shouldn't be out here and alone, old lady, huh? If you go around, let's cut to the chase. Is there something you need? Surely you haven't severed all contacts? Oh, oh, goodness, no. I have a supply caravan that passes here maybe once a week. I trade with him for whatever I need, and I stock up enough till they return. Uh, what could you possibly trade? Besides shelter? Well, I offer something in the way of entertainment. I play songs on my homemade violin, and people trade me goods. If not in person, I use my husband's old radio set. The men in the caravan say it keeps their morale up on lonely nights in the wasteland. I guess a homemade violin is never quite in tune? Oh, you are a clever one. Yes, that's exactly the problem that I have with it. It doesn't quite play all of the notes correctly, and I have to constantly tinker with it. Sounds like me and my guitar, but that's more because I just physically can't tune it. Uh, your husband's radio can broadcast across, across the entire wasteland? Yes. My husband was very proud of the setup. He tinkered with that thing for years to get it working. I've tried to use it to get whatever I need, but I've never gotten a reply. You built a homemade violin? That's impressive. Thank you. 
While my husband had his hobbies, I'm afraid mine was making that sorry instrument. I only wish I could replace it with something better. Is there any way I can help? Well, now that you mention it, um, yes, there is. My training depends on my violin. Without it, I have nothing to play, no way to make music. If you can bring me a violin, a better one, I'd feel much more secure. That's hardly something that I'd find... A violin? That's hardly something that would have survived the war. Yes. Very sad, isn't it? Sad to think that no more musical instruments will ever be made the old way ever again. <sighs> well, fortunately, I know where perhaps the last real violin in the world exists. Oh, really? If you really? give me your word that you will recover it, I will tell you more. Uh, let's see, I can use my charisma. You seem like a nice woman. Uh, let me get you that violin, or I could use my lady killer. If you only had something to help keep me safe, my little honeybee. I want to help you, but that type of search costs me greatly. Look at all the options I've got. I've been advised to use the lady killer ones with her, so I will do. If only you had something to help me... To help keep me safe, my little honeybee. No, that sounds like I'm saying no. Let me get it for you. Well, that's just so sweet of you. I feel bad sending you off with nothing like this. I have a small amount of ammunition that my husband left behind. A box of odds and ends. I don't think I've opened it in years. If you do this for me, you're welcome to take whatever you need. All right, I've given you my word. I'll do my best to recover the violin. Oh, I don't think I've been this happy in years. As promised, here's the key to the ammunition box. It's right under the radio table. Before you leave, I have some information that may help you. At least a place to begin. It all starts with my great-great-grandmother Hilda back in 2077, before the bombs fell. I really thought the bombs fell earlier than that. Uh, sorry to interrupt, but where can I find the link? You have records from back then? Of a kind, yes. Hilda sent a good deal of letters to my great-grandmother Mary, who passed them on, and so forth. I suppose the correspondence could be considered a diary of sorts. I can't even imagine that long it ago. It certainly is a long time. That precious instrument has been through a lot. Anyway, Hilda was quite a special woman. Classically trained and exceptionally talented at the violin. Her pride and joy was her Stradivarius violin. I can only imagine how exquisite this instrument must have been. When the war reared its head, she was invited by Vault Tech into Vault 92. They claimed the vault would be dedicated to preserving musical talent. Musical talent? Why would they care about that? This violin she owned, was it valuable? Actually, forget the stories and just get to the point. Why would they care? vault Tech was always promoting the vaults being used for the preservation of the arts and all that nonsense. Hilda couldn't pass on a chance to meet many of the other musical talents of the world, so she accepted their invitation. It wasn't to keep herself then alive? The, fell. the vault was sealed, and my family never heard from her again. After 200 years, how can you be certain that the violin is, is in decent shape? Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's a question that will get answered in the next episode. As always, I'd love to thank you for watching, and I'll say goodbye. Goodbye.